This tutorial video is going to show you how to create an appointment reminder um, and how to use the contact manager. Once you're logged in with your username and password, you select contact manager view. From here, um, your uh, client, whether it be a doctor's office or dentist or a uh, chiropractor, um, salon, anybody that needs to um, send out appointment reminders uh, can upload in a CSV file or an Excel file an entire list of um, uh, of people in uh, that they that they already have, and they can browse for that file. They can upload that file, and all of those members will now go in here with their phone number, um, name, email address, uh, any of that that can go go into this. Uh, how most people use it is uh, basically kind of like this. Somebody walks in, they schedule their appointment for a month from now for another checkup, and they just select add new member. They then type in the information for that new member and by putting in their first and last name and a mobile phone number, putting a 1 in front of it, and then the area code and the phone number. You're going to hit add member. Now, when I, uh, now all they have to do is choose the member that they just added and it brings them down. Now they're going to send them a message. When I'm going to send a message, I can pick from templates that I've created. In this case, I'm going to choose the appointment reminder template. This template I've already built that has name and it's a field. So it's actually going to pull in Bill's name and it says your appointment is scheduled for now I just set the appointment for him for 5 12 11 at 2 p.m. and I say reply if you can't make it or call see you soon. Now I'm going to schedule this message out for uh, the for um, the day before or early in the morning of the day of the appointment and he's going to get that uh, appointment at that time whatever time I select uh, 9 30 in the morning central and I hit send and schedule now for just for this example I'm going to go ahead and, and send now when I send it now it's going to deliver it and then if the person replies I'll be able to read it from inside uh, the contact manager view and then I'll actually save that chat. We'll show you that now. I'm going to go ahead and hit send and uh, we'll watch for the response here in just a second. While we're waiting on that response, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to schedule, how to create those templates. Creating a template is easy. You just go to manage templates and now we can create all kinds of different templates and name them uh, whatever we wanted. So if we had a vet, you know, reminder, um, if somebody had different kinds of, uh, you know, different kinds of reminders, this one was for blood work, then I could put that in there. And then I could create that template exactly the way, um, you know, put in their name first, so that'll pull that first name from the field. So it'll say, John, um, your appointment is scheduled for, and then I just put that in there. That's a reminder to put in when their appointment time is scheduled for. Uh, I can put in, you know, whatever I want, reply. If you have any issues with making it, And don't forget your, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we're putting in here, right? So we can tell them not, don't forget, don't forget not to eat, or don't forget your medicine or whatever it is. Now we can set that template. And now when we go back to our home screen, if we go ahead and select Bill, and we choose, you know, choose, we execute it. Now we're going to send Bill a message. We can actually choose that vet reminder for blood work, and then we can put in whatever information that we want. We can change that. You know, don't forget your medicine or whatever. And now we can send and schedule. 
you notice that we've got a return message back. We can take a look at that message. It'll open up the chat. Um, here's Bill. Bill says, great, see you then. And actually, when he, if he responded that he couldn't make it or whatever, we could then send him another message that says, you know, when can you make it? I have an opening next week or whatever. And I can send that message. And then it'll save that and archive that chat right there. So it's opened up a two-way communication. Thank you for uh, watching the Contact Manager View uh, tutorial.